Hey, hey DV, welcome, welcome to this week's week special edition of Sports Beat. I'm Kat. I'm Brian. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. With so many talented athletes, some have already committed to new journeys of their life. Del Valle's athletic program is full of hardworking athletes to the point that many have gotten college offers. These college offers are really important since it opens many doors for students. It's important because if they, if they have the talent or the desire to play at the next level, uh, there can be a lot of money involved. And so scholarship money, academic money, and things like that. So it's important for them to try their best so that they can qualify for you know, free school. On February 6, 2019, five football players signed their offers to colleges. Football player Coy Oropesa is really thankful and thrilled to have signed to Western New Mexico University. I'm very excited. I worked my whole life to get to this point. I'm just excited to see what, what it brings me. Coy, along with other football players, couldn't have accomplished these goals if it weren't for their hard work and dedication. Uh, I put in all the work that's required. Probably can even put in more work, which I will do, but you know, I just did everything the right way. Well, they all worked extremely hard and, and prepared themselves for the next level. They're all very good football players. Not only football players have gotten offers from colleges, but other athletes, like Lave Tovar. She has received over 20 offers. Um, well, so far, I haven't decided yet, but the school that I'm leaning toward is Southern University, and they're Division I, and they offered me a full scholarship. I try my best to play at that school. Offers from colleges not only brings benefits to the student, but it also shines light and shows recognition to Del Valle. Uh, they're representing their school, you know, all the time, so that's one of the benefits. And the other one is, uh, you know, we're all in competition with the other high schools, and so the more money that we get for our kids to go to college, uh, it just makes us all look good and something to be proud of and uh, something our community can be proud of. Overall, college offers are really important for our athletes. And no matter if they're on the track, field, pool, or even the basketball court, our Del Valle athletes have put in enough work to get these offers and succeed in life. Reporting from Conquest Journal, Catarina Gonzalez. This year, Del Valle decided to honor Coach Reichman with his very own field. Let's check it out. This year, the Del Valle family gathered around to honor Coach Reichman on his naming on the field. Uh, it's, it's just nice to know that once I'm retired and and off into the wilderness somewhere that uh, they'll still see my name up there and, and just preserve some of the history of the school and the Valle High School uh, soccer program. Coach Reichman doesn't just train them. He creates a special bond with his players. Yo pienso que Coach Reichman es como no nomás un entrenador, sino que es como un parte, como un familiar para nosotros y para cada, para cada quien que está en el equipo. Este, él hace que cada uno pongamos su esfuerzo. Me personally did nothing but, you know, what I'm paid to do and that's coach these kids. It's the athletes that have come through the program that have uh, really set the bar real high for the, for the program and the future classes. And they just seem to always match and surpass the class before them. With his name overlooking the soccer field, Coach Reichman will always be recognized as one of the best Ovaya coaches. Reporting for Concord Journal, Marco Soto. After four years of sacrifice, the last shot was made. Senior night is a special event symbolizing the end of a journey. For those kids that have been here all four years, it's it's kind of the end of a journey. You know, you first get here as a wide-eyed freshman and, and you think it's going to be so hard and it takes forever. And then before you know it, it's time to move on and go to the next phase of your life. All of it was a great experience. I miss my coach yelling at me for not coming early or practice and all that. It was fun. Families and friends get together to support their loved ones and celebrate their hard work during the season. The experience, having all the fans out here supporting us, you know, we worked, we worked hard. It wasn't the way we wanted to end, but... It was great seeing everyone out here supporting us. Being on the basketball team is having a second family. I'm always here and they're always here to support me. Seeing their parents and seeing their reactions and their emotions is usually the best thing. Even though it's four years here with us at Del Valle, for the parents it's usually a lot longer because of that transition to adulthood. Del Valle wishes the best to the graduating athletes who left their legacy on the court. Overall, the thing that I'm most proud about is that these kids, they always competed, they always came out, they always fought, and, and they didn't give up, and they gave it everything they had. Reporting for Conquest Journal, Frank Trio. We'll, we'll be, be back, back after, after this, this commercial, commercial break. break. And now, at 
pro musical genius who needs no introduction. <laughs> oh. It's lit. The Vi is full of great soccer players. Let's see them kick their way to victory. The varsity boys and girls soccer team are trying to become district champs once again, with both of the teams having a 9-3 and record so far in the season. Our goal is for another district championship. This would be our third uh, in a row. Uh, we're we're back-to-back -back district champions, but uh, that's, that's our main uh, focus right now. And uh, going into the second round of the season, that's what we're concentrating on. And then... Uh, more importantly, to make the playoffs. It takes discipline to be in soccer, especially if you're in a varsity soccer team. Well, the girls will tell you that uh, I'm a stickler for endurance, so they run and they run and they don't stop running. And if you can imagine it, soccer, a soccer game lasts for 80 minutes running nonstop. So uh, it's basically a lot, a lot of conditioning. The teams face some unexpected challenges in this season. Uh, injuries are always unexpected, but uh, we've had a couple of injuries that are, have been pretty serious and it, it messes with our lineup a little bit. The coaches do different things to train before the games. We look at where we are weak, we scout ourselves a whole bunch and we see where other teams might be able to exploit us and we try to work on those and build up some strength in those areas and then go on and play the game. We wish both teams good luck on the rest of the season. Reporting for Sportsbeat, Christian Croce. Track and field coaches have the answers to your question on what the sport is about. Let's run into action. Zoom. Track and field is a perfect sport for students who want to challenge themselves with different events. All right, we have sprinting events, we have long distance events, we have throwing events, jumping events. There's a whole bunch of events at a track and field meet, like the throwing, the jumping, the long jump, triple jump, shot and discus. Uh, you, we, we do a pole vault, which is really cool, high jump. No need to worry about events that you believe aren't suited for you. We pick the events that are most beneficial to them. We do sometimes make them or push them outside of their comfort zone and make them do something that they usually don't do. But we do try them um, or put them where we think they would do best. We try to encourage everybody to try each event once. That way they get a feel for what, what they like. But um, we, we, for the most part, we have certain kids who are just dedicated to certain events, yeah. Feeling unprepared is normal. So the coaches have ways to prepare you for the meets. So we prepare, we've been preparing since the summer as far as athletically, physically. Um, mentally, we have team meetings right before we talk to the kids, let them know what to expect. With track, you, we practice the certain type of running that they're going to be participating in or the certain event they're going to be doing. And the more they practice, the eventually, eventually they get really, really good. For information on how to join, contact Ms. Marufo at room W202, Mr. Stevenson at room E210. Reporting from Sportsbeat, Brian Valenzuela. Our very own DV wrestlers. Sound on to the mat in order to qualify for state. Coming out victorious. Wrestlers from all across the region gathered in the DV gym, waiting for their match in order to qualify for state. Hanks, Rio Grande, Bridges, and Favens were some of the districts present in the tournament. Among the many members who played on the mat, our very own DV wrestler, Javier Duchesne, was able to make it a state. I've been wrestling for like seven years, and throughout those seven years, all I did was wrestle. I feel really confident. Uh, this is my third time going to state. Last year, I placed third. Um, Sophomore year, I was one win away in medal round, so I'm very confident of going out there and winning gold. 
But behind every team, there is a coach who gives the members everything they got to push themselves for the best. I think it's more of a self-motivated thing. It's not about me motiv motivating them to be successful. It's them wanting to come and work hard so that they can get there. For the most part, wrestling is, is not one of the most popular sports, but it's one of the ones where kids don't get enough recognition. And I think they should because, I mean, I know every, every sport works hard and they make a lot of sacrifices, but some of the things that our wrestlers have to go through just to be able to compete on a weekly basis is very difficult. Despite the setbacks that the sport faces, the team is still able to hold strong and we're able to prove it by having members qualified in the competition. We wish the best of luck to all who managed to win on the mat. Reporting for Sportsbeat, Brianna Banda. Hey, batter, batter. Baseball and softball season is here. Let's take a swing. Baseball and softball season just started. The players as well as the coaches are very excited to see what this year's season has in store. When we want to advance in the playoffs, we want to make the playoffs, advance in the playoffs, and it's always our goal to be the last man standing in town. So when all the other guys are turning in equipment, we're still playing. Um, minimizing um, a lot of the fundamental mistakes that I've seen in the last couple of weeks in tournaments and um, hopefully growth throughout the season with each individual player um, so that it, at the end result um, for the team is again making playoffs. Baseball faced Cathedral in their first game taking the victory. The season started off good. We had our opener. And we beat Cathedral 16-1 and we're doing good. Baseball and softball takes the time and dedication in order to improve themselves for every game. Well, we practice every day, you know, anywhere from two and a half to three hours, I guess you could say. So, uh, you know, as, as the season's gotten started, it'll become more and more intense. Well, we practice on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays are now taken away because um, we've increased the number of teams that we've added to our, our district. So, therefore, Saturdays are, are used for game, game days. The expectations are set higher in order to make it to the top. Our expectations is to be the last man standing and, you know, just win district and hopefully make it to state. We definitely make playoffs. Um, last year we came very, very close. Um, we have a young team this year, but a lot of the girls are experienced. Come out and support DV Baseball and Softball. Reporting for Sportsbeat, Renee Bueno. That's, That's it, it for, for this week's, week's special edition of Sportsbeat. Sports I'm Kat. I'm Brian. Signing, signing off. off. You want? All right. All right. All right. Ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of their life. Of their life. <laughs> of their life. Of their life, Steven. Of their life, <laughs>